hip parentheses, mobility. hip mobility, but what particularly are we trying to earn out of that said extreme position, which is shin box? We don't mind demonstrating for me because you have the best. Uh, external and point. external rotation. At their what? Extreme. Extreme position, yes? Yep. Okay, so that's what we're trying to earn here. Why is it important to earn that said position? So shin box in its origin or shin box in its design is to give what benefits for us? Because we're spending a lot of periods of time sitting, we lose the ability to get in those extreme ranges of motion. Now when we're activating and exercising to whatever degree, whether we like it or not, or we notice it or not, these extreme positions end up somewhere. If you're playing a sport and you're reacting, some guy hits you and you have to engage a position. If you've never explored a set tissue to a certain space, is a good chance the likeliness of injury or pain or tightness can creep in more or less. So when we look at the shin box, it is at a very extreme position that looks at, if we look at Carrie's legs here, looks at those said tissues in their most extreme position. So what we want to try to do is break down some of those techniques or some of those positions at their end range and control those set end ranges in the context of other postural alignment positions to more or less prevent injuries and get stronger. Also, I'll just get really good adapts. Okay, so I'm gonna use Trayvon here to get to that said extreme position. So go to one extreme side. Good. All right, so in that said position, if we are here, there's a lot of different movements we can get through, okay? What we can start to do is Look at the ability to not only control out of that position, but earn tension and stability through it. So the first one I just like to do is in that set position, Carrie, we want them to groove back and forth out of that set position. You can actually place your hands down and use them as assistance. So out of that set position, we're actually gonna just move this down funky so you can see a little bit better. That's probably way better. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so out of that set position, I want you to now groove back and forth out of that set profile. So if I was here, what I want to do is just groove back and forth. I'm just earning hip capsule space and full body awareness space there. Okay. So how would I coach that? All right. I'll just I could place both hands down, right? And I'm just going to teach them what I don't want them to sit here. I want them to sit strong and tall and earn presence of tension here, tension here. So when they're grooving back and forth, there's going to be a little bit of a wiggle. But I don't want those shoulders doing this. I still want them to earn a presence of tension or alignment. Yeah, and it's very subtle, okay? For our really good movers like Carrie here, she doesn't have any tension. For people like myself and Trayvon, you probably feel it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so that's a good start. Now I wanna start gaining more space around that said front hip capsule, which is in its external extreme position, right? It's like the pigeon that you see in it. And now yoga. So what can I do? Take both hands, I'm gonna leverage, oh, this is a good one. Leverage around that said front leg, oh yeah. And I'm even dealing up with a jacked up injury flaring up a bit. My QL's popping. Yeah, exactly. So my QL's been injured plenty of times before. So this is a great exercise to help open up not only the external process here but also around that said lower back section is the progression just removing your hands like that's the next exercise so trayvon smart guy just like carry here so he's getting a little crazy dynamic what you could simply do is just go <laughs> and fold over the leg okay i'm going to try to keep my shoulders actually square because the more i'm turning the more i'm compensating and i use actually the glute mead in the mid to pull me back up the yeah. Instead of just getting into that comprehensive roll around cars, which we will eventually get into, it's still important, but we want to earn each particular sequence or step. And you're going to do exactly what Trayvon is doing next. We can either place our hands here or here, and we're going to turn around the profile of our torso. Excellent. Yeah. And do it slowly. So that's how Carrie or myself would coach it, super slow because the faster you go, tension is its end range, it doesn't have any more, there's a good time to pull on it in a bad way and then you get a bad response where everything tightens up again. That's not what we want. Okay, great. There's a lot of more stuff we can keep grooving into, literally. So if I need extra space or extra assistance, place the hands here. But I'm trying not to collapse too much. If I don't, my hands stay free and I'm gonna groove the knee off the ground 
both ways. I'm trying not to fall over. That's why I place my hands down if I need it. I'm going to get out of the shop. I tried to get it up. Okay. If you're like Carrie, you don't need the extra assistance because you have the mobility there. If you're like my friend Trayvon or like myself, which a lot of us are, um, you're going to need the leverage point or the assistance. That's fine. We have to earn these positions. They have to get comfortable sitting in these said segments. Crap. Okay? Crap, yeah. Oh. That's, what'll happen. <laughs> That's what'll happen to us tight folks. Okay? Oh, shit. Then eventually you can turn into carry and it's not a problem anymore. Okay? So after I've done those said grouping, what else could I start leveraging? Well, you start getting really comprehensive and earning some form of a internal rotation and a swing segment. And when I'm turning it back in, I'm following with my shoulder blades or my shoulders, and I'm turning back in, turning the foot in, and earning that locking position. Remember, I'm going to turn my shoulders in relation to where I'm activating or moving that said leg. Earn that internal rotation, build tension with that front leg, ripping it around. Okay. I'll move out of the way because Carrie can't move her leg with me in there. Nice. Exactly that, yeah. Gary being the awesome friend, just showing us how it's done. Now remember when you're first earning that particular segment, you're gonna to try to keep the knee into the ground and just lift the cap, and you're gonna turn your shoulders in relation to where you're turning, yes, excellent. When you're turning that leg through, you're gonna turn the foot inward, and do the same as you're turning it back, so the foot will turn inward towards the ground the other way. Yeah, because what you're controlling, particularly if we Try to use my pointers internal rotation through the obliques. Okay. Only well, we need about three to five of these. Okay. Advancing that more even still. Remember, we need to control the hip flexor and create intentional tension and control and explosiveness in a number of movements. Some of those number of movements for us athletes could be a sprint technique. If we start talking about combat sports and a kickboxer, a MMA guy, what is he going to need is hip flexors for knees, kicks, you name it. So that extended extreme position can now turn into a pull inward, where I use leverage here, I try not to fall too much. I pull it inwards towards the chest. It sounds like I'm doing a T. I kick my leg up. Yeah, exactly. And I try not to use my hands if I don't need to. I just use the leverage point here. This foot's gonna turn up too. And I'm gonna use this tension, pull it in, up towards my chest, and then kick it out to the side where I point the toe. And I'm going to activate this under time under tension. And again, impact is out of the equation. And I'm learning how to work it over a longer period of time. It's not just a quick activation. More or less why people end up with injuries. They don't actually have intentional control of these areas. They just simply turn on or turn off. And there's no guess as to when that's going to happen. And because they're not firing off as often as they could, not enough support. And that's why things break down. Good. I only need about three to five of these. Remember to pull it right into the chest, okay? Another couple extreme ones you can do is I can get that front leg to now leverage the same type of idea. This is more advanced where I could place tension on the back leg, set up as tall as I want. I'm gonna try to kick this leg straight and turn the foot in. If I'm really strong like Carrie probably, I could lift the foot and do it too. But this foot has to turn inward. Yeah. Good, use your hands. Yeah, you'll have to use your hands. Okay, so that's another one where I can start earning those set tension points. Now, if that's too hard, what I can do is fold over the legs, build tension in the arms, tension in this back leg, straighten this front leg, and I'm just gonna try to groove this toe upward. Huh? And all I'm earning is more or less that same type of idea, and I actually have extra tripods or extra tension points to help me leverage that set position, okay? Um, another good one also, instead of just earning all around here, I want to earn complete and utter extension of the hip extenders and also earn that hamstring tension and glute tension really subtle. I'm going to pick this leg in and almost try to kick myself in the ass. Really subtle. Yeah. Yeah. It's really subtle. I don't even actually lift the leg. All I simply do is I... Try to take the heel, the knee on the ground, and just try to tuck it underneath. Oh, so I'm not yeah. even lifting it. Yeah. So 
So after I've done all these broken down positions, I've become more control and intentional of earning these extreme ranges of motion, extreme ranges of stability. And now if I want to get into a comprehensive shin box rotation, I'll have more control. And I'm not just falling into that position, I'm willing it. I'm intentionally controlling those aspects. So we'll show you in the next video what that all broke down into. And we'll get carried to kind of coaching through.